Get started on the right track. Keep it locked to The Drive with James Curtis. Listen every weekday morning on Joy Radio. There he is, Niall Motormouth Jenkins from Car Connection, and he's got on his ugly sweater for Ugly Sweater Day. That looks actually quite nice. I wouldn't call that ugly. I made it myself. I'm glad you <laughs> like it. I really like the oil filter. <laughs> the oil filter, yes. Yeah, it's right the, in the middle of my chest. It's the Car Connection version of the ugly sweater. Yeah, the ugly sweater. Everything ugly automotive on my sweater. Winter officially begins next week, Thursday. Can you believe right. that? Well, I can believe it because the, the winter solstice. That's right. Temperatures getting cooler. Um, as the weather gets colder, how long should I be warming up my car first thing in the morning? I'll be honest. I typically just start it and go. Is that a good thing? You're one of those guys. I am. You? I am. We I'm on generally... a mission. I got places to go. I got people yeah. to see, things to do, you know? Yeah, we don't generally talk to people like you. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to people that really care but I do about care. their automobiles. I do care. I just care to get to where I'm going. I do warm up the car a little bit in the wintertime, and it's just to warm up myself. Well, 30 seconds? Well, just to warm up myself, not the car. So oh, I see. What should I be doing with the car? Well, let's talk about it in reality. I like to compare warming up your vehicle to heading into the gym or running a marathon. You don't just jump out of the car and get in the pack and run and you're ready to go. You got to take some time to, you know, if you don't warm up your muscles and get them ready to perform in the gym, lifting weights or doing cardio, chances are you're going to suffer an injury. Well, your vehicle has a lot of mechanical moving components that when they get really, really cold, that's when they're most likely to break. So my question to you is how many expensive mechanical components that really require a warm up period to get the lubrication in there and that the oil is warmed up so that it flows really, really well in and out of all the mechanical components that would break your bank in a heartbeat. How many of would would just like to take a risk and wait until that happens. I don't know. I'm still thinking about the whole gym aspect. <laughs> Are you still stuck? I'm still stuck on that. I'm just like, I'm exhausted thinking about you're, it, you know? You're, you're the guy screaming like a little girl in the in the middle of the gym and your <laughs> legs tied up around the back of your head in a calf ball <laughs> and you got a, a wild, uncontrollable cramp. Yeah. You're that guy. Yeah. That's who yeah. you are, James. Yeah. I, well, here's what I do. I get my vehicle started. By the time I have it brushed off, might be 15, 20 minutes. That vehicle's ready to go down the road, but it's not at 195 degrees Fahrenheit yet. That is normal operating temperature. And if you pound on that vehicle before everything gets to 195 degrees Fahrenheit, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when that component that says, I'm fed up with this, and today's the day Mm -hmm. I'm going to break. So you're looking at the temperature gauge on the dash, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Most people generally know where that needle sits. Yeah, because it, it, it hovers around there the whole time during normal driving exactly. conditions, right? So, so when you see that needle get to where it normally sits when you've been driving for a while, then you know what? You're all right to uh, to lean into it. So I've been told. That'll keep you out of trouble, and that'll help you protect your vehicle against damage in cold weather. And it will also allow you to keep the vehicles longer, which is money in the bank. You are back tomorrow morning fielding automobiles of questions car connection 7 a.m every saturday on joy come and join us we put the coffee on and the donuts are always fresh broadcasting to over 9 million people in ontario is no small undertaking for nearly 20 years joy radio has been used by god to transform lives and save souls we need your help to continue our mission Please support our advertisers and programmers. Find a list of our ministry partners at joyradio.ca slash support. Thanks for choosing Joy.